Hello again YouTube and welcome to a, another video. As you can see, um, slightly left field this one. Um, not a pair of trainers, but a pair of boots from uh, this company called Grenson, who uh, have been making shoes, um, as you can see on the box here, in England since 1866. Um, and the boots that we're going to be uh, reviewing today are called Fred. Um, and as you can see, these are a size 9, and I think the width, um, the G there, denotes what width these are. Um, nice looking box, uh, nothing much to write home about, nice paper inside, but that is about it. So you don't really get that much um, from these guys. Um, I love Barker shoes as well. Uh, I've got a pair of these guys, which are the uh, McLean's. Um, Bought them in 2014 and they are going uh, really nicely. Uh, and just to show you, you get some nice Barker shoe bags and a shoe horn as well. So you get some um, bits and bobs with Barker shoes, uh, but nothing with Grenson. But um, there we go. Uh, also, you'll know these shoes if you ever watch darts um, and watch a guy called um, James the Machine Wade. Uh, he wears these shoes as well. I don't know how long he's been wearing them for, but I say I've got these in 2014. So um, anyway, there we go. On to the main event. Again, just a quick uh, review this time. These are called Fred. Um, you can get them with different soles, and if you were to ever wear these out, which um, is very, very, very unlikely, you can send them back to the factory and they will put on whatever sole you want. Obviously, they'll put on this um, this foam sole again, or they'll put on a, ru a rubber sole, um, or indeed they'll put on their, um, their, their leather sole as well. Um, nice colour. This one is called, um, it's, it's a tan colour, uh, hand-painted as well. Um, now, with these soles, this is one consideration that I did think about uh, when making these. That it, it's got to be uh, an inch, maybe thirty millimeters um, wedge at the uh, at the heel end, and um, I am six five uh, in bare feet. So with these on, I'm freakishly tall. Um, so that is a consideration. If you're short. Get a pair without hesitation because you you could do with the, uh, the the extra lift in the heel there, um, but I just um, bought them uh, because I just thought that uh, to have a, a classic brogue boot style um, with uh, a uh, pretty pretty modern uh, and funky sole was uh, was a pretty good um, combination kind of thing. Um, these are a size nine. Now, if you are a regular watching my channel you will know that adidas i am pretty much always a ten and a half nike a ten uh, and of course i went to the shop tried on the ten and a half in these and they were absolutely massive then tried on the ten then the nine and a half and finally struck down on the nine so i don't know um why the difference is there's a there's, there's a good uh size and a half difference between these uh, the, the Grensons and let's say an Adidas uh, shoe uh, again. I don't know why, but um, there we go. Obviously, you just got to uh, got to try on the, uh, the 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 right pair that fits. Um, I've had these a while, as you can see. I've I've, I've worn them out, and it's um, it's winter here in um, in the UK in England, so uh, it's a bit grubby outdoors. Maybe not the best time of year to buy um, something or indeed wear something with a uh, with a white sole on. But they clean up pretty uh, pretty well. Um, and like I say, if uh, if you were to ever wear out this sole, they're really light, despite the fact they look pretty chunky. Um, they are pretty pretty light, so don't worry about um, them uh, weighing your uh, weighing your feet down. Um, like I said, if you ever to wear that one out, then they will um, uh, get a new sole on for you, uh, the same sort, or indeed, like I say, a, a rubber one or a, a leather sole. Um, yeah, really nice and comfortable, um, good boot. Uh, yeah, and um, I love wearing them at the moment. Anyway, um, in this uh, in this December weather that we're having over in the UK. Anyway, hope you like the um, the review. Oh, one thing I should mention: these are hand painted. I don't know uh, whether that's a uh, feature just um, for Grenson. Um, one thing I have noticed, though, I don't know if that's you can just make it up there. There are a couple of, um, and again, these are handmade, uh, hand painted shoes. So I, you know, I, I can forgive a uh, a couple of um, imperfections there. But you can just see there 
there and slightly further up that the um, that the dye or the tan or whatever they use to uh, or indeed the paint um, that they would have they used to um, to do these uh, boots with just hasn't taken in those areas but um, like I say they are handmade um, and very 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 nicely handmade at that um, beautiful stitching all the way around the bottom there um, I don't know whether these are triple welt double welt um, Dunlop welts whatever they called um, but anyway, like I say, you can um, pretty easily, I understand, change the uh, change the soles on them. Hope you like the video. It's been a short and sweet one. Um, Merry Christmas to one and all of my followers and anybody else who um, has watched the, uh, uh, the the episodes that I've been um, churning out this year. Um, plenty more to come. Uh, I've got a couple of videos to do. I've got a couple of pairs arriving fairly soon. So, of course, as soon as they uh, do, I shall put them up for you. Hope you're well. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell and I shall see you on the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.